Uh, hello everybody, uh, so welcome to this uh, lecture number 3 of, uh, of week 8 on the course on uh, linear systems theory. Uh, so we were talking uh, in the last two lectures about uh, the way we define the concept of observability, why we need the concept of observability uh, and so on. Uh, so we will uh, have this short lecture uh, just to, uh, to understand the discrete time analog of uh, the observability is and most of the steps will be uh, very similar to what we did in the in the discrete time systems for uh, controllability analysis. So I would skip much of those uh, steps here, uh, so they might just be redundant to write those all over again and we will equivalently try to derive the uh, eigenvector test, the PBH test and so on. Uh, so what I know now is the, is the concept of duality, right? That, uh, if A, B, uh, so we had a system written in A, B, C and D and A transpose, C transpose, B transpose and D transpose and then we had some relation between uh, controllability of uh, one system with the dual of it and then observability of one system and the, and the dual of it, right. So we will make use uh, of, uh, of, that, uh, of that results to derive uh, the remaining tests for, control, for, for observability, okay. So we start with, uh, with uh, discrete time, time systems. Uh, the discrete time case, well, uh, uh, everything is uh, looks looks pretty pretty similar. So I have x k plus one is a k x k b k u k and and, and so on. Uh, similarly, uh, for for the output, again, so uh, the way we construct the solutions via the uh, the the variation of constants formula by defining uh, the discrete time state transition matrix, I just substitute for the output that y of k looks with uh, with c of k, phi t, t naught, x naught and then the bunch of terms uh, here. So we, we, we did derive, derive this in, in one of our, uh, our, our earlier lectures, okay. Uh, so the definitions go, go very similar to the, to the continuous time counterpart. So given two times k1 and k naught, the unobservable subspace consists of all space, all states x naught for which like this holds, right, it, it is very similar to what we had, had earlier. And similarly, uh, the unconstructible subspace consisted of all states, uh, this one. So the, the, the definition of observability and constructability still uh, remain, uh, remain the same, okay. So uh, similarly, in the case of, uh, of, of discrete time controllability, there is a little dis uh, distinction that uh, the, the, no the notion of reachability and controllability were uh, same for uh, continuous time LTI systems, but the discrete time uh, uh, equality required some extra conditions on the matrix A to be invertible, right. So similar uh, results hold also for the, uh, for the observability test for discrete time uh, systems, okay. So, so the definition of discrete time system requires a backward in time uh, state transition matrix from K1 to time K, right. So, uh, and then this matrix is defined, so xk1 is defined with, uh, with xk, so this, this can be solved for xk if and only if all these a's are, 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 are invertible or all these a's are, are, are non-singular. Otherwise, the, uh, the unconstructible subspace cannot be defined if this, if this condition is not met. Again, I will skip, skip the steps here, but you can just refer to, to uh, lectures on week 7 for, for controllability. Uh, will be exa exactly the, uh, the same, okay. So uh, again, uh, when is the system observable? Uh, the system is observable even in the discrete time uh, when it is an unobservable subspace consists only of the zero vector and similarly it, if it is uh, constructible if it is unconstructible subspace contains again only of the zero vector, right. So, so this is the very similar definitions to what we had before. Okay, so when this holds, uh, we will uh, first try to uh, construct an equivalent of the Gramian for discrete time systems. So I just uh, define my Gramian here, uh, the observability Gramian again depending on phi, c, c transpose and, and, and so on, right. So again very, very similar to, to what we had seen uh, earlier and the results also translate beautifully here that. Uh, given any two times the unobservable space is just the uh, kernel of uh, the observable Gramian so, and similarly the unconstructible space is just the kernel of the 
uh, unconstructible uh, Gramian. Uh, it is uh, so again uh, uh, we can uh, prove quite easily of course so the uh, the, the rank based conditions still hold right. So, where the system is observable uh, if and only if this uh, rank of, uh, uh, of W o is n similarly the system is observable if the rank of uh, W c n is n ok. So, uh, no, nothing changes here. Uh, uh, similarly, I can do the uh, Gramian based construction. So, uh, having known the Gramian how do I construct uh, the state it again uh, starts from uh, the 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 definitions over here and then uh, using uh, the gramian i can just write down this uh, this expression here right this is this is this looks very similar to what happened in the uh, continuous time case uh, loosely speaking just the the integral replaced by uh, summation here so to speak okay so these are all all just just plug in uh, put it over here and they all translate uh, quite beautifully except one condition of uh, uh, equivalence between uh, unconstructible and uh, the unobservable space or is the, or the equivalence between constructability and, and observability. Okay, right. Uh, similarly, I have a Gramian based reconstruction for the, uh, for the uh, constructible case. Okay. Uh, now, uh, we we go to the uh, to the observability tests. Uh, so, first is the rank uh, based condition, right? So, if I uh, look at uh, so I will just do the the, the derivations from the uh, duality uh, thing. So, from the duality theorems, uh, it is known that the pair A comma C. Okay, uh, from the duality theorems, we know that the pair A C is observable if and only if the pair A transpose C transpose is controllable. Okay, so, what was uh, let us write down the dual system here. So, I have x uh, say tilde dot is A transpose x tilde plus C transpose some u y tilde is B transpose x tilde plus uh, D uh, transpose u tilde. So, whenever A this system is observable it is equivalent to saying this system is uh, controllable. Okay. Now, uh, how do I derive the observability conditions for this system based on the controllability properties of this of the dual system because I know that observability of this system is equal to the duality to, to the uh, controllability properties of this system. So, what do I know that the rank for, for controllability in general is that the rank B A B till A n minus 1 B uh, should be n. So, this is the controllability matrix the rank of it uh, should be n. Okay. Similarly, now I can define the uh, the controllability matrix for, for this guy. So, the controllability matrix for this guy would have uh, C transpose, A transpose, C transpose and so on. A transpose n minus 1 C transpose. Right. So, this will be uh, the controllability matrix for the dual system will be the observability matrix for the original system. Okay. So, uh, I just then uh, then write down the observability matrix in, in, in this format. So, the observability matrix just translates to this one okay. and then therefore, I can conclude that. So, so uh, the observability for the pair A C is defined as this is the, the, the transpose of C. right? So, so uh, if you just look at uh, the the definition uh, over here or, or the way we derive the uh, observability uh, matrix here. Okay. So, uh, observability matrix is now defined in, in this way C, C A, C A square and so on. Okay. And then the system is observable if and only if the rank of the observability matrix is n. Okay, so we start with the example that we uh, that we had in the in the first lecture, right? So uh, the question there was: Is it possible to develop uh, a controller where the control law is some uh, function of the states x1 and x2, and 
the control law is say updated at some every every interval interval t okay so this uh, and then what i have for measurement is only the the output y here so if i write down the state equations for this so i will have something like this where y is uh, just as this one plus some 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 d here okay so i just look at the uh, the observability matrix which is just uh, given by c so this is the c and then the a, a times c so i can just look at this matrix and say that the rank of this is not equal to 2 it's actually equal to 1 and therefore the system is not observable and therefore the problem here which says can i develop a control law which is based on this uh, present states and and then uh, and the control is in, uh, is upgraded as an interval t the such a controller well, is not possible as the initial states cannot uh, be determined right so because the system is not not uh, completely observable right okay so now uh, some tests uh, which are very similar to what we did for uh, the controllability so the first result says that the system 2 is observable if and only if there is no eigen vector of a in the kernel of uh, of c transpose okay i i'll not do the proof of it but i will explain you this with the help of uh, the duality concept y of t e is c x t d u t and then have the dual system a transpose x t b transpose some u t y the new output is uh, sorry this will be c transpose then y will be uh, b transpose x t plus d transpose u t okay uh, so this system is okay i'm looking at the observability of this system and this is related to the controllability of this one right okay so <coughs> what is controllability here so controllability would say that there is no eigen vector of a transpose in the kernel of b transpose that was the controllability for this system okay now what about observability of the system the observability of this system is equal to saying controllability of the dual system now let us write down the eigen vector test for the dual system so analogously the system is controllable if and only if there is no eigen vector so this a transpose here becomes a in the kernel of c this is the eigen vector test for controllability of the dual system and this condition is exactly equal to the observability of the original system and therefore i can say that the system this lti system 2 is observable if and only if there is no eigen vector of a in the uh, kernel of of c like uh, okay i i can do a, a constructive proof uh, the way we did it in the previous one but then since you already know the duality we can just make use of the tools there uh, and then uh, exploit the relationship between uh, the controllability of the system with the observability of uh, of the dual system and so on right similarly i will have the pph test again i'll i'll not uh, do the proof of it or or uh, you can just write down the analog ana, ana, analogous uh, thing for yourself the lti system 2 is observable if and only if this rank is equal to n again i'll not i'll not touch upon the proof or even with the duality uh, i would i would like you to work on it a bit uh, similarly uh, if i have uh, that a is a stability matrix so i'm looking at the at the equivalent of the lyapunov test assume that a is a stability matrix the lti system 2 is observable if and only if there is a unique positive solution w to the lyapunov equation this one right 
Moreover, the solution is 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 given by uh, by by these two here. One is this is for the continuous time. This is for the discrete time. Again, this they look very similar to what we had in the case of uh, of controllability. Again, all these derivations you can just do by exploiting the duality relationship between. Uh, controllability of a system and the observability of the dual system and 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 vice versa okay uh, just for your own 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 benefit or uh, just for a little more uh, learning you can write down the proofs uh, starting from from zero right assuming the, that you do not know the relation between the duality uh, you do not know the duality relationship between controllability and observability and so on right it it will just help you to to uh, to to kind of get more and more familiar uh, with proof techniques i will i will leave i will not do that here i'll just leave that uh, to you for some for some of your own, uh, own 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 learning right and if you have any difficulties you can always post that in the forum and we will be more than happy to to help you out okay so so that concludes uh, today's lecture so uh, next uh, lecture uh, we will look at the observable decomposition very similar to what we had done in the case of uh, controllable decomposition and then uh, we will have a weaker version of con of observability called detect detectability which is again uh, you can relate it to stabilizability uh, uh, which was a weaker version of uh, of uh, controllability so that's uh, coming up coming up next uh, thanks for watching